there is some dude somewhere that thinks that he is the talk of the town because he had to steal Skinny from the nine. You just can't script this shit. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost, what's up party people, I so, yeah, so apparently, some dude decided that he was gonna snuff Skinny from the Nine, I so, I, I mean, I got my own issues with this, so, alright, I'm gonna let y'all, I'm not going to show the actual footage because uh, YouTube can sometimes, uh, you know, sh they don't want fighting and stuff like that. So I don't want to, I don't, I don't really feel like dealing with them dudes with that. So I'm not going to put the fight footage up, but I will put the footage of Skinny from the nine talking about it after it happened. So all right, I'm, I'm going to show that and come back with my commentary. You did all that for what, bruh? I'm still shining, and I can still probably fuck your bitch. This nigga came up to me, bruh, and was like, yo, Skinny, can we take a picture? And I was like, yeah, let's get it. I got out my seat. I'm about to pose for the picture. And then as soon as I start posing for the picture, dude snuck me, and then we started tussling. My face is still fine, bruh. I'm still cute as fuck. I can still fuck your bitch. And that shit lame, bruh. You don't get no cool points in any hood for sneaking somebody. You 300 pounds, bro. I'm 150, and you had to sneak me. You could not fight me one-on-one -on -one cause you know I'll beat your ass, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. Don't ever, everybody, everybody, fuck that nigga. All right, so. There's a couple of things I'm going to agree with Skinny on. One thing I'm absolutely going to agree. Uh, I, I mean, I, I'm not saying he said this specifically, but I'm like, yo, my dude, you snuff Skinny from the nine? Like, I'm not really trying to throw shade at Skinny, but I mean, dude, you, who you going to snuff next? Pee Wee Herman? That's who you going to snuff? How about Mr. Burns? That That's who you going to steal? Mr. Burns, homeboy? You get... Zero points for stealing on Skinny from the Nine. Now, uh, before we even go into how much Homeboy just played himself, I mean, he really played himself. I know he th he think he's a tough guy for doing that. And, yeah, I get it. People like Skinny from the Nine, they talk crazy all over the Internet. But you see, like, that's the difference between, I guess, somebody who, you, you know, isn't clout chasing you get it? Because you didn't rob him. You didn't do nothing. You just punched him in the face. Not that I'm advocating robbery. Please, I am not advocating robbery. Don't nobody rob anybody. But the point in which I'm making is... The point in which I'm making is you run up on Skinny from the nine, right? You don't even... I, I would have gave you more props if you wanted to, like, beef with him. Like, there was a while back where Hell Rail, right? And and I feel bad that Hell Rail got ran up on in, in, in the... In the uh, in the restaurant when he was sitting with his family that were all females, that was messed up. But at the same time, they didn't try to snuff Hell Rail. They just ran up on him and called him out. You trying to tell me, homeboy, Mr. Tough Guy, you couldn't call Skinny from the nine out? I don't get it. I mean, it is what it is, whatever. Shout out to you. But you couldn't call Skinny from the nine out. You had to go up to Skinny from the nine, said, yo, can we take a photo together? And then when Skinny's, no, he's like, all right, come on, let's take a photo, all right? Which, you know, would have been clout for you, by the way. I'm just going to throw that in there. You 
decided that you was going to snuff skinny after asking for a photo. So, my dude, you get zero. zero. Matter of fact, whatever points you, you had, you losing some. Like, you, you know, like, you coins is falling out of you. Like, seriously, you know. <laughs> you, you Everybody ever play Sonic and shit? <laughs> you know, when Sonic get hurt, the fucking coins fall. That's what the hell happened to Homeboy. Homeboy hit Skinny and his coins fell off of him. Because, come on, man. And then on top of that, this is something else I just want to add. You snuffed Skinny, right? And he still was able to hold on to you. Like, like you see how skinny Skinny is? Like, Skinny is literally really skinny. And he was able to hold on to him, hold on to you, and you wasn't even able to get him off of you after you snuffed him. Look, I, I'm just saying, there's a lot going on here. And a lot of the stuff that I see going on here is not necessarily making dude look good. Okay, one, you snuff skinny by the nine, or from the nine. I'm really not sure which one that is. That's one. That guy. I mean, I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, man, anyway. So you snuff that guy who is just like, I, I like, uh, his skinny is in his name. Like I don't even, I don't even, I don't even need to go much further. That guy is just—he's not a fighter. You snuffed him. You couldn't just square up with him. You feel me? That's one. Two. After you snuffed him, he was still able to grab hold and latch onto you and gave you a hard time trying to get you off of him. That happened. So homeboy, wherever you at, talking all of your shit. Because you snuff skinny by the nine, and I guess that makes you a tough guy now. You played yourself. Now, if you wanted smoke with him, you should have walked up to him and called him out. He's literally skinny from the nine. Literally skinny from the nine. I do not think that anyone needs to snuff him. But shout out to Skinny. Uh, he didn't run. He didn't, uh, he didn't run. He didn't, you know, he tried to fight back. Um, with that being said, there was a situation where him and Skinny from the Nine and YBN, Almighty J is now beefing online. One is talking about how the other one got beat up and the other one is talking about how the other one ran. Look, neither one of you guys is fighters, all right? And there's nothing wrong with that. Let's just be clear. We need to have people on the planet that aren't looking for beef. But the way y'all talk on the internet, y'all calling all the beef to y'all. Now you got this wackadoo running up to you asking you for a photo just so he could get close enough to you to to, 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 to sneak you. Y'all need to do better. Y'all need to stop with all of this crazy talk on the internet. Y'all need to stop trying to, like, have want smoke with everybody. Stop trying to use 6 ix blueprint. Just try to make a couple of good tracks and then get a couple of good features. Matter of fact, do a couple of good features. Try that. Try actually making some good music and then see how that helps your career. Seriously. Because all you guys want to do is talk crazy and then get into random BS. God forbid homeboy was, you know, in a different state of mind and he wasn't about fighting and he was about making other shit happen. So leave it down in the comments. I want to know what you guys think about this. Specifically, do you think, you know, Skinny is fortunate? Dude just wanted to fight. Dude wanted to put hands and feet on him and not necessarily wanted to, you know, put him six feet under. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.